Kalang Services Kiunga Special Education Program, in partnership with the Catholic Church Daru Kiunga Diocese, received the funding in 2021 and began construction in 2022. Kalang Services Kiunga Special Education Coordinator Mrs. Doris Amboman said 20,000 kina was used to build the classroom and the remaining balance is saved to fund two teachers' houses to be built at a later date. This is the third year now of this in intake. It is an inclusive school where disabled, disabled, we are all one. We see each other's differences and accept one another. Then it becomes inclusive. So thank you for the Vicentian Priest, Lord, uh, what, support, uh, continued support, uh, making classroom a complete. Bikinini, you are the reason why this building and this classroom is here. Nopmo Women and Children's Association President Mrs. Noni Dukumun in her remarks said the association was grateful to Octedi Development Foundation or OTDF for building their capacity in project management and was happy to see the outcome from the funding they provided. She thanked the Tutuwe, Y3 and Nopmo Women and Children's Associations and the partnership with OTDF for the timely support for the infrastructure project. OTDF Program Services Sustainable Development Manager, Mr. Andrew Murray, expressed appreciation to the commitment of missionaries towards development in PNG, particularly the Catholic Church, for the endless contributions in developing Western Province. Developing Western Province, it's very difficult, okay? It's di very difficult because of the geographical constraints, okay? We have mountains, we have rivers, we have swamps. Okay. There is no road access connecting the remote areas to the township of Kimla, even Tawuti. We have only one highway, that's Kimla Tawuti Highway, and that's it. Okay. Let's work hand in hand. He said most importantly, transparency in project management and servant leadership are just as effective as the community ownership of such development projects. Jim John, National MTV News.